Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It's Lorient, and they face Paris FC. Got goosebumps just thinking about kickoff time. You've got to control your nerves. Playing in a game like this, it's all about the nerves. Nerves can be your friend, or they can also destroy you. Keep them under control. Jérémy Borel, le numéro 25, Vincent Logoff, le numéro 18, Fabien Leboine, le numéro 6, Laurent Aberzel, le numéro 11. Look then at the starting 11. Well, there's no great mystery, is there? We know normally how they're going to play, and it's all about applying as much pressure as possible. Lee, can we anticipate seeing more of the same today? Yeah, absolutely, Derek. If you're really good at something, then why not? They're very good at this. All the team members have bought into this style of play. One player slacks off and it all falls apart, though. A look at the opposition starting lineup today. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them, but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. And now they get the ball rolling. Morel. Monduki. Lopez might really be able to trouble them here dangerous looking through ball and failed to keep himself onside unfortunately Yohan Wisa. Now, let's see what they can do here. Can he put it away? Pivotal moment defensively. Julian Lopez. Gakpa. Lopez. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And there's the feed into the box. And a wonderful save. All types of save keepers make, but that's really important. Look how close the striker gets. Over it comes. Well, no end product. Oh, nice ball. Julian Lopez successfully cut out. and he did well to cut it out 
Gakpa. What can he do from here? How about the cross? Oh, surely! And a goal! The first of the contest! Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging for someone to get on the end of it. And it's all about the time he allows himself by being patient, waiting for the ball to drop, and then volleying with such precision. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Mendes. Laurent Abergel. And the timing was perfect, ball one. Bello. Bamba. Monduki. Nice looking pass. Dangerous looking attack. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. Quentin Boigard. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Corner kick played in. This looks promising. He might be able to carve something out. Waga. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And a goal! grand scheme of things well it's the sort of determination and desire that's got them here all the momentum is with them now well as we see again that's how to score goals get the ball into the box from wide areas and then the finish couldn't be simpler really given far too much time and space inside the box and he doesn't even have to get up in the end just nonchalantly heads it past the keeper. So, a level contest, 1-1. We will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Johan Wiesa. It's opening up for them. Oh, great vision. Teammate in support. It looks promising. 
losing possession here. An awful lot of green space to run into. And still looking for space. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And time for the change now. Played into the center of the box. Lopez. Can he finish this? But it can't get all the way through. Le Goff. Morel. Here's Lemoyne. Montcorduit. Laurent Abergel. Lovely ball over the top. Will he play it in? Deciding to go inside. Fabia Lemoyne. That's a good-looking ball. Looks promising, this. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was a nailed-on pen. The ref didn't know. Conte. And given away. Laporte. Fabia Lemoyne. And he read it well. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Gakpa. It might be on for them. An attack full of promise. But it can't get through. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. Now the delivery. Conte. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. comes and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately Vincent Le Goff Johan Wiesa on the attack as there to be late excitement Wiesa has it Laurent Abergel showing good patience must take the lead here and able to close down the shot oh that's a penalty and at a crucial phase in the game well the referee making it clear on a different day it could have been a booking and a substitution in the offing Changement pour le Paris FC. 
joueur sortant, le numéro 14, Cyril Mangouki. À sa place, le numéro 8, Mario Jason qui combat. Off the post and back in play. And a throw in it's going to be. It needs an accurate cross. Clattered away. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Bamba. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Still pushing for what could be a winner. Crossing into the middle. And the defender takes care of business. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength-sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. Abergel. Well, they get the ball once more. Isn't going to end up being productive for them. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Dangerous looking attack and a strong tackle. But the timing a little bit off. Gaëtan Bello. Excellent passing. Well, possibilities in the centre. Good tackle. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Oh, in with a chance! There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating! Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back and then threw on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. So at the halfway stage in extra time and 15 more minutes left. Well, the drama continues to unfold. Second period of extra time now. Oh, he's given it away. Laurent Abergel. It might be on for them. It should be. Cuts it back. And still trying to get the shot off. A tremendous block. Now can they counter clinically? 
Well, the clock shows five minutes left on the second period of extra time, and still they lead by one goal. Mendes. Laurent Abergel. Can he play it in? Looks promising this. Masterful piece of foiling. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments.